Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices. We'll start by looking at S&P 500 and the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq. And this is going to be my daily forecast for the U.S. indices for Tuesday, um, November 3rd, 2020. And you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the click with the support button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we have a new trading uh, signal um, service on Patreon. And if you join that, you will get access to our full technical analysis of the commodities market. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And uh, we did rally quite significantly today. Pullback. We're still trading underneath the 100 moving average. Um, at this point, we are trading at a highs of uh, 3,500 or 3,600. And a very lows of uh, 3,200. Um at this point, I, I did anticipate us to uh, to break the uh, 100 moving average. And I still do think that we are going to break the, uh, the 100 moving average. There's going to be a lot of choppy trading uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, the presidential election, and probably the days after that. But uh, these, this is the financial markets. They don't really care that much about political uh, situation. They care about liquidity and uh, the economy and so on. So I don't think that's going to uh, make that much difference whether or not the, uh, Biden wins or Donald Trump wins because the main focus on, uh, on the economy at least, because Biden will put all his efforts in basically trying to solve the coronavirus uh, crisis and Donald Trump, that will basically be more of the same and uh, I think that Wall Street also knows that. So we just need some kind of good news, and this will basically explode to the upside. Good news could basically be that Biden wins. That could be the good news, or the good news would be that Donald Trump wins. That we know don't know what market how the market will react, but we do know that these are the two major resistance and support. Get close to the three thousand two hundred, it will most likely rally. Break below that opens the door to three thousand. Don't think we'll go there. Um, but if we rally from here, uh, target will be 50 moving average at uh, 3,400. Then these highs at 3,544. And then to the highs. Technical indicators, we are significantly oversold. This is cheap to buy it here. Technical indicators are turning around, especially the CCI. This should be uh, a signal that this is basically going higher. My guess, 50 moving average. So, Dow Jones. So, uh, we did uh, rally quite significantly today. We are similar to uh, the S&P 500 trading uh, the highs at 29,229 and the very lows at uh, 26,000 or thereabout. So, we found support here. This was a market that I bought into. I also made a trading signal that to buy into this market. I expected it to rally up towards uh, 27,500, uh, which is around here. And um, at this point, well, we'll probably do that. We're still trading above the 300 the moving average. We are significantly oversold. So still, if we enter here, this is still very cheap. When these technical indicators are turning around, and they are, see, you look at the CCI, that is a very bullish shine. The same goes for the stochastic. And the Bollinger Band, it is only a matter of time before the MACD turns around and then will go higher. Probably target 27,500 around there. And uh, then the 50 moving average at around 28,000 and then to the very highs. So you look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is here. So we need to, to get rid of this. So NASDAQ is still trading underneath the 100 moving average. It fell a little bit today, but still we are trading with the highs around 12,485 and the lows here at 11,677. So we may fall towards this line here. I don't think we'll go lower than that. Uh, I don't actually think that we'll go lower than this because this is cheap. It is at 20, 20 uh, points here at the RSI. We are significantly oversold. We had a massive decline 
from this high here of 12,200. And uh, this is an uh, indice that I bought into today, mainly due to the fact that most of the major tech stocks are significantly oversold. There will be a rally uh, in the coming days. If it's tomorrow or one day from now, it is going to happen. And that will push this market up towards the 50 moving average first at uh, around uh, this area here, 11,545 and then to these highs. And if these highs break, then we'll go to the all-time highs. I don't have interest in basically shorting this. There is a massive amount of, uh, of support underneath. If this breaks, then we'll probably go down to 10,300 uh, or, yeah, or 10,000. But no, I don't think that is going to be the case. If we did that, then we would have seen that here. I don't think that we're going to see that now. Just don't think that's going to be. We probably need to write and test this again, but I don't think that we're going to go all the way down to 10,000. At least not when we're significantly oversold. Technical news are turning around. Not right yet, but they will do in, in probably tomorrow or on Wednesday. So just hang in there. So hopefully you found this video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner the bell button and the like button and you're welcome to join our signal pro service on patreon will you will also get access to a full technical analysis of um, of the bears and bulls channel so good luck and thank you very much